Ever think about what it's like to run an auto repair shop these days? I bet it's not easy. It's not. Yeah. You've got rising costs, a uh, shortage of skilled technicians. Right. And, and then just this constant need to stay on top of all the latest technology. Absolutely. It's a lot. And then you throw in all this talk about artificial intelligence. AI, uh, yeah. And it just seems like one more thing to add to an already overflowing plate, right? It can feel overwhelming, for sure. So what if, instead of being another thing to worry about, yeah. what if it could actually help? Mm. What if AI could be the tool that shop owners need to kind of navigate all these challenges? Now that would be a game changer. That's what we're diving into today in our Dipe Dive. Okay. AI for auto repair shops, and specifically how it can benefit the owners. Sounds good. We've got some great articles and insights on workforce trends, so we're gonna try to break it all down, uh, give you the key takeaways without getting too bogged down in the technical stuff. Perfect. So we'll just get right to it. Let's do it. AI in auto repair. You know, a lot of times when people hear AI, they immediately jump to these sort of like sci-fi scenarios. Oh, yeah. But we're really talking about practical applications here, things that can have a real impact on a shop owner's business. Right. And and, and their day-to-day -day work. Absolutely. So, yeah. you know, we'll explore how AI can help with diagnostics, make things faster, more accurate, uh, streamline workflow, even improve customer service. All good things. Yeah. and And the focus is really on how all of this can make life easier and more profitable for the person running the shop. The shop owner. Exactly. Okay, so let's start with diagnostics because yeah. that's traditionally been, you know, a real time consuming process. It can be. Yeah. yeah. I mean, figuring out what's wrong with a car, it used to involve a lot of trial and error. Right, and just it's just a lot of time. So AI is offering a, a much more direct way to get to that root cause of the problem. Okay. And I think what's really exciting is how it's shifting from that reactive process to something that's much more insightful. Mm. So think about companies like Bosch, Hitachi, Hunter Engineering, Hotel. Big names. Yeah, they're developing these advanced tools that go way beyond just pulling those basic error codes. Right. They're analyzing huge amounts of data from the vehicle to really pinpoint what's going on. Okay. You know, things like engine misfires or brake wear and and Paul Campanello's auto centers, yeah. they actually highlighted this. They said that the, the depth of analysis you get with these AI tools, yeah. it's it's just beyond what you could do with traditional methods. So so it's like having a super experienced technician who's seen it all. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, just instantly able to recognize patterns in the data that a human might take forever to see. Yeah, and, and the key here is this thing called machine learning. Okay. So basically the AI learns from thousands and thousands of past car issues. Mm. It builds up this intuition, almost like a mechanic would over many years of experience. So the AI gets smarter over time. Exactly, and that's what allows it to get the diagnosis right the first time more often. Which is huge for shop owners, right? Huge, I mean, it cuts down on those comebacks. Yeah. You know, when a customer has to bring their car back because the problem wasn't fixed the first time, that's costly. It's frustrating for everyone. Yeah, everyone involved, and it damages your reputation as a shop. For sure. I was reading about a shop in California, I think it was, Yeah, that saw some really impressive results after implementing some AI diagnostic software. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah, they said they saw a 25% reduction in labor costs. Wow. And a 30% increase in customer satisfaction. That's huge. Yeah. And and this was all within six months of using the software. And the owner, you know, he specifically said that this was because the AI was getting the diagnoses right so quickly and accurately. So less time spent guessing, more time actually fixing cars. Exactly. That's where the money's made, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's diagnostics. But you mentioned predictive maintenance earlier. Right. Now that, that sounds like a whole other level. It is. It's like a whole new way of thinking about car repair. And especially for the shop owner, it seems like a really good way to kind of build those relationships with customers. Mm. For sure. Yeah, because you're not just fixing problems, you're preventing them. Right. So, so how it works is the AI is constantly monitoring the data coming from the car. And, and these days, cars are pretty much computers on wheels, right? Oh, yeah. They're generating tons of data all the time. Okay. So the AI can look for subtle changes that might indicate a problem down the line, mm. like a battery that's starting to weaken or a transmission that's showing early signs of trouble. And this is stuff that might not even trigger a warning light for a while. Right. That's the point. Oh, it's okay. catching those things early on. So so you as a shop owner can reach out to the customer and say, hey, yeah. we're noticing this. It might be time for some preventative maintenance. Exactly. And this is already happening. Really? Yeah. You know, those high-end brands like Tesla, BMW, Mercedes. Okay. They're already incorporating these predictive alerts into their cars. Wow. 
And what's interesting is customers are starting to bring those AI-generated reports to their local repair shops. Mm -hmm. So it's like this shift in power. Right. The customer's more informed, and the shop has an opportunity to offer this valuable service. And and build that trust with the customer. Exactly, right. because you're being proactive. You're looking out for them. And, and it seems like it would just make the workflow in the shop so much smoother, too. Yeah, absolutely, because you're not constantly dealing with these like emergency breakdowns. You can plan ahead schedule things out so you know who's working on what you know yeah. when parts need to be ordered it's just better all around yeah makes sense okay so we've talked about how ai is changing diagnostics and, and this idea of predictive maintenance right but let's get into the nitty-gritty of how this actually plays out in the shop okay so day-to-day -day operations yeah how is ai changing things so so imagine this the shop opens up in the morning uh -huh. and the service advisor is going through the day's appointments but now they also have this report from the AI system mm. that highlights any potential issues that were flagged overnight. So so they're not just waiting for cars to come in with problems. They're getting a heads up. Exactly. And especially for fleet accounts, mm -hmm. you know, this can be really valuable. Okay. The AI might have identified a couple of vans that need brake pads soon. Okay. Or maybe there's a sensor fault on another one so the shop can contact those customers right away, get those repairs scheduled. So it's like they're moving from reacting to problems to actually anticipating them. Exactly. That's got to be a huge time saver. It is. Okay, so that's kind of the initial check-in. But then what about when a technician is actually working on a vehicle? So that's where the AI-powered scan tools really come into play. Okay. They've gotten so sophisticated, they don't just show you a bunch of error codes anymore. Right. They actually offer probable causes. Yeah. And they rank them by likelihood. Wow. So so think about it like this, this. The AI might see an OBD2 code. And and just for our listeners, OBD2, that's, that's the standard system for onboard diagnostics in cars, right? Exactly. It's wow. how the car tells you something's wrong. So the AI sees this code and it combines it with data from millions of other repairs. Okay. Data might say, okay, in 80% of cases with this code on a 2018 F-150, the problem is a failing fuel pump. Wow. And it'll even tell you the best way to test it. So it's like having this massive database of knowledge right there in the palm of your hand. Yeah, it's incredible. So as a shop owner, that's going to save you a ton of time and money. Oh, absolutely. Because your technicians aren't wasting hours trying to figure out what's wrong. And the customer gets their car back faster. Yeah, win-win. And and especially with those complex electrical issues or computer problems. Those can be real nightmares. They can. And the AI can potentially cut that troubleshooting time by more than half. That's amazing. Now, of course, the technician still needs to verify what the AI is saying, right? Of course. Yeah. yeah. I mean, these tools are powerful, but they're not perfect. Right. But it's still a huge head start. Yeah. Okay. So we've got diagnostics, we've got troubleshooting, but then there's all those routine tasks. Yeah. The stuff that every shop has to do. What about those? Well, AI is changing that too. Really? Yeah. So you've got these AI vision systems now that can do a complete vehicle inspection in just minutes. Really? Yeah, they use cameras and software to scan the car for things like dent scratches, tire tread depth, even fluid leaks. Wow. And there are companies like Uvi that have these drive through inspection stations. Mm -hmm. And the car just drives through in, in under five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. Wow. You get this detailed 360-degree report on the car's condition. So, so as a shop owner, you're saving all that time that a technician or a service advisor would normally spend doing a manual inspection. Exactly. That's that's huge. And and think about it for the service advisor, it means they can spend more time talking to the customer about what needs to be done. Right. Instead of walking around with a clipboard. And and you've got this detailed record of the car's condition when it arrived. Yeah. So you avoid those arguments about whether a dent was there before uh, or not. Yeah, that's got to save a lot of headaches. It really does. <laughs> okay, so we've talked about diagnostics inspections. Hmm. What about the actual repairs? Is AI getting involved there? It is, yeah. It's still early days, but robotics is definitely coming to the auto repair world. Hmm. And it's going to focus on those tasks that are repetitive and physically demanding. Okay. So things like tire mounting, oil changes, lifting heavy components. Stuff that can really wear a technician down. Exactly. And lead to injuries, too. So are there any examples of this already in action? Yeah, there's a company called Robotire that's working on automated tire changes. Mm. And other companies are experimenting with robots for basic maintenance tasks. Interesting. So, so we're not going to see robots taking over the entire shop just yet. 
Not yet, but it's coming. But but it does seem like it could really change the way shops operate. I think so. Yeah, uh, I mean, it, initially it'll probably be those larger dealerships with high volumes of work okay. that adopt this technology first. Makes sense. But as the costs come down, those smaller shops will be able to benefit too. And and you could imagine a future where you've got a junior technician who's managing a team of robots. Right. And the more experienced technicians are focusing on the complex stuff. Exactly. It's about using everyone's skills where they're most valuable. Yeah. And it could even be a way to attract new talent to the industry. Yeah, make the job less physically demanding, more focused on problem solving. Right. I think that would appeal to a lot of young people. Okay. So we've talked about all these different ways AI is changing things in the shop. Right. But what about the overall flow of the shop, the management side of things? Yeah, that's another area where AI can have a big impact. Okay. Especially in busy shops where you've got cars coming in and out all day. Right. So there are these AI-powered workflow management systems right. that use things like computer vision to track vehicles in real time. Wow. So they can see how long each car is spending at different stages of the repair process. Mm-hmm. And this is really valuable information for the shop owner. How so? Well, they can identify bottlenecks, for example. Maybe the alignment bay is always backed up. Right. So they can adjust staffing. Or maybe they need to invest in new equipment. So it's all about making data-driven decisions to optimize the flow of work. Exactly. And for the technicians, it means they're not waiting around for the next job. Right. They can stay busy and productive. Which is good for everyone. Yeah. It keeps the shop running smoothly. Okay. So with all this new technology, it seems like the skills that technicians need are also changing. Definitely. It's not just about tuning wrenches anymore. So how should shop owners be thinking about the skills of their team? They need to make sure their team is digitally literate. Okay. Comfortable using computers, understanding data, being able to learn new software. So it's like a blend of those traditional mechanical skills and this new tech savvy. Exactly. So how can shop owners make sure their team is up to speed? Training is absolutely crucial. Okay. Investing in ongoing training for their technicians so they know how to use these new AI tools and platforms. So it's not just about buying the equipment. It's about making sure your team can actually use it. Right. Yeah. And, and they yeah. need to be able to think critically about the information the AI is giving them. So the AI provides the data, but the technician still needs to make the judgment call. Absolutely. Okay. And we're also seeing an increase in the need for skills like data analysis and software troubleshooting. Hmm. Things like resetting transmission control modules, calibrating ADS systems, applying software updates. Mm -hmm. These are becoming much more common. And then you've got the whole rise of electric vehicles and hybrids. Right. That's a whole other set of skills. So technicians need to know about high voltage systems, electric drivetrains. Exactly. So for a shop owner, investing in their team's skills is really an investment in the future of their business. It is. It's about staying ahead of the curve. And it's about attracting and retaining top talent. Yeah, because those technicians who have those in-demand skills, they're going to have their pick of jobs. Absolutely. And it's not just the hard technical skills either. Oh. Those soft skills, communication, teamwork, problem solving. Those are always important. Yeah, but they're becoming even more important as AI takes on some of those more routine tasks. So so it's like the human element becomes even more valuable. Right, because you're dealing with customers, you're explaining complex issues, you're building relationships. And that's something AI can't do. Not yet, anyway. Okay, so it seems like this whole shift in technology is also having a big impact on staffing and recruiting. Oh, absolutely. Which is already a challenge in the auto repair industry. Huge challenge, yeah. So how should shop owners be thinking about this? Well, they need to recognize that the types of roles they need to fill are changing. Okay. As AI takes over some of those more basic tasks, the demand for entry-level positions might actually go down. Mm. But they're going to need more highly skilled technicians right. who can work with those complex AI tools. So it's not just about finding people who can turn a wrench anymore. It's about finding people who are comfortable with technology. Yeah, so... So what does that mean for hiring practices? Well, shop owners need to start asking different questions in interviews. Okay. You know, how comfortable are you with advanced scan tools? Yeah. What's your experience with diagnostic software? So really focusing on those digital skills. Absolutely. And it might even mean looking outside the traditional pool of applicants. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you might find great candidates with IT backgrounds mm -hmm. or people who are just really tech savvy. And then what about the technicians you already have? Yeah, those are your most valuable assets. So how do you keep them up to speed? 
and invest in training. Okay. Make sure they have the opportunity to learn about these new AI tools. Yeah. Partner with equipment manufacturers, send them to conferences, offer online courses. And, and create a culture of learning within the shop. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Encourage them to share knowledge, mentor each other. And, and and I imagine that also helps with morale. Oh, absolutely. Because it shows your technicians that you're invested in them. That you value their skills. Mm -hmm. And that you're not trying to replace them with robots. Right. Which is a real concern for a lot of people. It is. But it's important to emphasize that AI is a tool. Right. It's there to help them do their jobs better, not to take their jobs away. Yeah. And given the technician shortage, keeping those experienced mechanics happy is more important than ever. Absolutely. Okay. So we've talked a lot about the service bay, but AI is also impacting the business side of things. It is. Yeah. So, so how is it helping shop owners manage their business more effectively? Well, there's a lot of really cool stuff happening with things like scheduling and inventory management. Okay. So, for example, you've got these smart scheduling systems mm. that use AI to optimize appointments. Okay. So they take into account things like how long each job takes technician availability, mm. the specific skills needed. And this helps reduce customer wait times. Yeah, it keeps things moving smoothly, and it also balances the workload for the technicians. And that's good for everyone. It is. Okay. What about inventory management? So AI is being used to predict parts needs. Okay. So it analyzes past usage data, current inventory levels, even things like supply chain disruptions. And this helps prevent overstocking or running out of parts. Exactly. Both of which can be costly. Yeah. And some systems can even automatically reorder parts based on what the AI diagnostics are finding. Wow. So it's like the shop is almost running itself? Well, not quite, but it's getting there. Okay. And then what about customer service? That's another area where AI is making a difference. How so? Well, you've got those AI-powered chat bots that can handle routine inquiries, mm. after hours, scheduling appointments, providing basic troubleshooting advice. So it frees up the staff to focus on more complex issues. Exactly. And a lot of these systems offer automated status updates, too. Right. So the customer can get text messages or emails about the progress of their repair. So they're not constantly calling the shop to check in. Yeah. It's all about keeping them informed and making the experience as seamless as possible. Which is good for customer loyalty. Really? And then there's the whole world of AI-driven analytics. Yeah, that's where things get really interesting. So what's happening there? So these platforms can analyze all sorts of data from the shop. Okay. Things like repair times, comeback rates, customer reviews. Okay. And they can identify patterns and trends that might not be obvious to a human. Mm. So for example, they might notice that a certain type of repair is consistently taking longer than it should. Okay. And that could indicate a need for additional training, or maybe they need to update their equipment. So it's all about using data to make better decisions. Exactly, and to improve the overall efficiency of the shop. So for shop owners listening to this, what are some key takeaways they should keep in mind? Well, first of all, embrace training. Okay. For yourself and your team. Right. Make sure everyone is up to speed on the latest AI tools and technologies. Stay ahead of the curve. Yeah. And don't try to do everything at once. Okay. Start with one or two key areas where AI could have the biggest impact. So maybe diagnostics or scheduling. Yeah. And get your team involved. Right. Make sure they understand how AI can benefit them. Because it's not about replacing them. Right. It's about empowering them. And, and don't be afraid to think outside the box when it comes to hiring. Yeah. You might need to bring in people with different skill sets than you're used to. And finally, stay informed. Yeah. Keep up with the latest industry trends. Read blogs, attend conferences. So be proactive and adaptable. Exactly. That's how you thrive in this new era of auto repair. So it sounds like AI is really shaking things up in the auto repair industry. It is. It's a very exciting time. And, and it's not just about robots taking over. It's about using technology to enhance human skills. Right. It's about making the job easier, more efficient, more profitable. And ultimately providing better service to customers. Gotcha. So for all the shop owners and technicians out there. Yeah. Embrace this change. Be curious. Be willing to adapt. Because the future of auto repair is bright. And it's high tech. And it's all about combining the best of human expertise and AI. On that note, what area of your shop could benefit most from incorporating AI right now? It's something to think about. Thanks for listening to our deep dive. Of course. Until next time. See ya. Bye.